Right, so I've got some projects set up and what I want to do is run through and show you how to create the doodle effect on each of the different types of media. So the first one is video. So if you go into the drop down over here, you'll be able to see we've got a new row which says doodle effects. So simply click on the plus icon to add a doodle effect. And with this video, what I like to do is use the hide hand option so that it just draws out the video and reveals it like a transition like this. Cool. So you can also adjust the duration by simply dragging this out to the right if you want to make it slower or bring it to the left to make it faster. And you see it looks really good as like a transition to a video clip. Okay, the next one is images. So what we can do is actually draw out a manual path with this illustration. So I'm just gonna go to the image over here and go to doodle effects. And this image I basically got over here on the images icon. If you go to illustrations and go to line characters, you can grab the same one over here. And I'm just gonna simply click on the settings icon and then go to manual and then click on edit path. And this is gonna enable me to draw out my points on the image and reveal it exactly as I like. So what you need to make note of is you need to hold down shift and click to add a point. And if you wanna remove points, hold down shift plus control and then click to remove the point. So I'm holding down shift, I'm gonna left click and just draw out this image. And you can see the white dotted line basically shows you the path of the hand which is gonna draw out the image. And the purple part on the outside is the amount of the image that's gonna be revealed, okay, when it's drawn out. So you can adjust that drawing size by bringing it up like this if you want it to make it, you know, really reveal a lot of the image. Um, if you wanna do something really precise, you can make it a lot smaller like that and yeah, just reveal certain parts of the image, okay? So I'm just gonna bring it up to about 69 or so, and what I'm gonna do is just continue drawing out this quickly. Okay, cool, so I've added all my points, and if you wanna make adjustments to your points, you can simply left click without holding shift and you can move the points again like that. Really easily you can you know go through and you can also add more points by holding down shift and click, okay? So let's just have a look at what that looks like. If I click on finish and just preview this. Cool, so that's really, really good. And again, you can adjust the duration if you wanna make it faster or slower. You can also, you know, select a different hand and we've added a whole bunch of new hands at the end over here. If I just go across, you have to see we've got some new hands that you can select as well to reveal your image, okay? Cool, so a couple of other options as well. So you've got the hand size. So if you make the time indicator in between the animation and go to doodle effects, you can adjust the size of your hand. If I just zoom out a bit. What you wanna make sure of is that the hand isn't too small. So if you have it like this, you're gonna see that it's gonna cut out the hand and it's not gonna look very good. So make sure that the hand is big enough to kind of come outside the actual canvas of your video. And yeah, you can just go through and play that through. So just select the hand and let's make something like this. Make this one a bit bigger. And you can also adjust the amount of shaking. So if you wanna make it shake quite a bit while it's revealing, you can do that as well. And let's just play this through. Cool. So now I've got my character over here. I'm gonna show you how to reveal the character. Again, so you go to doodle effects and let's go to manual, edit path, and I'm gonna hold down shift and just simply draw out this character. Okay, cool. So what I wanna show you is, you can see that some of this image is not being fully revealed. I'm just gonna remove the unmask when it's done and let's go with this one here. And let's just preview this. Okay, cool. So as you can see, you've got this mask that I've drawn, but it's, not revealing the entire character which doesn't look very good as you can see like that so what you want to do by default we have unmask when it's done and this is going to basically once it's drawn out the character it's going to remove the mask so you can see the entire character so make sure that's selected when you're drawing out characters it looks the best and again when you are drawing out the character what you want to do is make sure that you're revealing as much of the character as possible like this okay so just bringing this out like that and let's go to finish. And I'll preview this. Okay, cool. So you might wanna go through and actually select like a 3D character hand like this. And I'll just quickly adjust that once more. If I go over here. 
I might bump up that drawing size a bit as well, like this. And you're gonna finish editing. Cool. So it's looking really good. I just play it one more time. And it's probably best as well if you're doing a character to have like the idle action first so that once it's drawing it out, it's in idle. And then once it's revealed, then you have your action that you want to show, like the thumbs up or something like that. Okay. Cool. So for the text effect, we've got the same one as we had before. So again, you just go to text effects, select doodle, and then you can adjust, you know, the hand and yeah, have your text doodling. And we've also made sure that when you add the doodle effect that by default we've added the anchor point to the top left so that it will write from the left to the right without moving the text like that. And one other thing as well, we've added um, the ability, if you hold down shift and then click and drag, you'll be able to see that now you can move your objects in an entire you know, straight line horizontally as well as vertically like this, which is really good for animating. And we've also added the option if you select you know, an object on the timeline and hold down shift and then click again. You'll be able to see that it selects everything from the top to the bottom like that, um, which is really helpful if you want to select everything like that and create a group. Um, and you can also manually just hold down command and click to select, you know, multiple tracks like that. So I hope you enjoy this update. Um, as always, make sure to download the latest version to see these in your account. And yeah, have fun creating.